Yep. Uh, thought our guys did enough to win. Uh, I didn't think we played great, but uh, our guys are fighters. I thought they fought the whole game, and uh, we were able to get a win. So really good. Um, survived to play UVA in a regional championship, so pretty awesome for our guys. They battled all season, and nothing was different today. They just battled. Uh, it's huge. I mean, uh, obviously, we didn't come here to lose. So uh, anytime you can win an elimination game, uh, it's a big deal. And it shows the fight we have in our team and the fight we've shown all year. How good of a feeling was it to see the guys pick you up there in the third, get you know, three runs on the board and give you a lead? Yeah, it was huge. I mean, um, that's kind of been the story all year for us is uh, picking each other up, whether it's offense, picking up the, the pitchers or the defense, you know, keeping us in the game. So uh, anytime we can scratch runs early, it's a, it's, it's a good momentum shift. We talked about that on the way over here. I said, am I hot tomorrow? And he said, yeah. So uh, hopefully I can come out of the bullpen and help us help us out. Josh, you've been around the guys, you know, the last couple of weeks, all the games you guys have played. How are they feeling right now as far as getting ready for one more? Oh, the guys are fired up. We're ready to go. Um, like I said before, playing for a championship. So, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if your body's tired or you don't feel great. Um, that goes to the wayside right now because uh, we're playing something bigger, playing for something bigger than ourselves. Um, I think they're extremely confident for what, especially what we went through last week. Uh, our guys believe in themselves. They believe in this team. They believe in ECU baseball. They believe in Park. So, um, you know, I, I didn't doubt that. I, I didn't think that we were extremely mentally alert early in the game. I thought we were really locked in in those middle innings. You could see that offensively. Um, and then I didn't think we were really sharp at the end, but we did enough to win. So that's all you can ask for. Hey, man, hey, pitch by committee, baby. We've been doing that for two years, man, so that this team's prepared for it. So just like Gross said, he, you know, can go tomorrow. Sailor um, will be available um, definitely tomorrow, if not today. He only threw 50 pitches, so uh, Root's going to start for us. Um, and we'll go to the next guy. I mean, Jay Hunter's available and um, Willie Lumpkin and um, Carter Spivey. And, and we'll see about Danny Bill. It's not Danny's arm, it's just his knee. It's his landing knee, um, which gives him some trouble. So that's why we got him out of there and landing in, too. I mean, that was huge by landing. Bases loaded, no outs, and getting out that get out of that jam without giving up a run. I think right after that, you all scored in the five spot. So it was really a huge moment game to take advantage. Yeah, just momentum. You know, like a lot of people said, we're a momentum offense. When it gets rolling, it's pretty good. So um, I thought our guys put, a, put together a lot of quality at bats in that inning. Yeah, we knew we were going to face him, you know, because uh, he was going to be the first out of the bullpen. And I, I just think our guys had a good approach. I think Colby Bortles put together a good plan. Um, our offense has um, pretty much been clicking on all cylinders. I mean, last night was a pitcher's duel on both sides. But uh, we talked about to the hitters that let's not change anything because we actually kept the chain connected last night. We just didn't have a lot to show for it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was a big play. I mean, it was, had to be on the money. It was on the money. He threw the guy out. Um, and, you know, that was a key, just getting a lead and keeping their leadoff guys off base because they put a lot of pressure on you um, with their speed.